Hello, everyone, and welcome to yet another Two Minute Tuesday. Today, I want to talk about data capacity because it's one of those things that, especially if you're coming from the on premise side to the online side, can be pretty shocking because the capacity quota that we have essentially depends on how many users we have and what type of licenses we're using. And when you're on premise, you don't really have to think about it that much. You just add more hard drives, and hard drives are pretty cheap. So, I want to talk about how do you monitor your storage. Specifically, I think it's easy for people to know that they can find out how much storage they're using. But the question comes in is, how do I know exactly where my storage is being used? Like, how do you know that, I don't know, your accounts, you know, count for 20% of your storage or your attachments are 70% or whatever it is. It's hard to know. And some companies want to know exactly how much of the storage that we're already using is being used for emails or is being used for attachments or, or, or you know, specific records in Dynamics. So I wanted to show you that. Let's start the countdown and let's go. So here I am on the Power Platform Admin Center, and you can see my environments in here are being listed. So I'm going to navigate into Resources, then I'm going to click in Capacity, and within Capacity, I need to be on the Storage Capacity tab. Now, the one detail that a lot of people miss is this little chart right here, right next to the name of the environment, in this case, our training environment. So I'm going to go ahead and click on Details, and I get super fast a chart telling me what are my top database capacity by uh, capacity used by table. You can see that the blue one is web resources. So a lot of our storage is being used in web resources. But what if I, what if I wanna go beyond just the top 10 tables? What if I want to see exactly down to the megabyte how much storage I'm using on each table inside of my Dynamics 365 or CDS database? Well, very simple. We click right here on this hamburger menu and then we click on download all tables. That is going to download an Excel spreadsheet, as you can see. Let me go ahead and open that up. And it opened on my other monitor, so let me bring it back. And there you go. You have all of your tables listed, whatever many dozens of entities you have in the system, and an exact size of how much you know, storage is being used per table. At that point, you can make a decision. If you're running out of space, maybe you wanna decrease the amount of storage that you're using for a specific entity by deleting all records, or perhaps, you know, your attachments are consuming a lot of your space. You might wanna move that into SharePoint or a Azure blob storage or something like that. At least you get to have a discussion on where the storage is being consumed and what can you do about it. Maybe the answer is buy more storage, but at least this gives you the clarity so you can have the discussion with your team. I hope you enjoyed the tip this week and we'll see you next week.